How much force does the Taft 960 foot line C when we walk and when we whip? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. Hi, I'm Ryan Jenks, and I'm at Taft Point in Yosemite National Park. And this is the longest line here in Yosemite National Park right now. And right now, Kim's walking on it. And we have a dyno on this anchor, that anchor, and one for our leash. So we can show you what the forces are in real time, or depending on where people are on the line. The anchor is pretty cool. It's just this rock back here, a little crisscross harness we make for it. Two ropes for that. And then we wrap this corner of this thing, equalize it with the BFK, and then we got our dyno, seahorse, screamer, because we have spider silk as a backup. And this is one continuous piece. We did not connect any sewing loops for this. Main line is Feather Pro, and the tension we put on this is anywhere between one and a half and two kilonewtons before people get on. It was 1.24 kilonewtons when Kim was sitting at the tree on her dyno and the one I have right here. It started last night around two kilonewtons and then Freedy on sighted in the dark. Um, Lucas got on this morning and also sent it. Right now Kim is about fit only about 50 feet out from that anchor and it reads 1.99 kilonewtons. So she's adding about 0.75 kilonewtons with her on the line. Wiggling. 2.7. Here we go. 2.7. 8. 8. Uh, did not go past 2.8. That's hilarious. So this line is 295 meters long. Kim is about 150, 200 feet out right now, and she is... 10 meters lower than this anchor. The anchor on the other side is about uh, seven meters higher than the top of this big rock that we A-framed off of. She, now that she's close to this anchor, she's putting on 2.1 kilonewtons again. She was putting the most force on when she was in the middle, and it's going back down the closer she gets to us over here. Kim's really close. 1.8. One point eight, one point seven, one point five, one point seven, one point eight, one point five. It was uh, a full kilonewton more when she was in the middle. Super interesting. Kim just got off and it's one point one four. All right, Kyle is going to whip for science. Are you excited about this, Kyle? Pretty, as you can yeah. tell by my face. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly because when you're done and you want to actually go walk, you got to slide back this uh, super steep. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited. 960 for foot high line. But uh, yeah, we uh, uh, two soft shuckles taped. So it shouldn't, uh, shouldn't come off, right? No. I'm not worried. All right, cool. Go off one. Right. Okay, Kyle is 165 pounds. It was 1.14 kilonewtons before he got on. And he's sliding out right now, and it's about 1.8. Whip! Ow, he slid a little. 2.81 kilonewtons on here. What'd you get, Kyle? 1.22 kilonewtons. That's pretty mild. All right, so Kyle's at 2.8 kilonewtons out in the middle. It's almost a full kilonewton more than when he's closer to us. All right. There's his whip. 3.31. 0 0.96 kilonewtons on his dyno, and that's it, 3.36 kilonewtons on here. So it was only a half a kilonewton on the anchor when he whipped. 2.87 kilonewtons, and Kyle's bouncing. 2.91, 2.99, keep going! 3.33! And it's 0 0.8 kilonewtons on his dyno, and it did not change the peak force over here when he whipped. <laughs> Is that 1.5, 1.4 kilonewtons when, right before he put his foot right there. 
Thank you, Kyle. Kyle, do you want to take a break? I do, actually. So this big high line super interesting. It was only 1.3 kilonewtons before we got on in our later sessions. It saw a lot more force in the middle. 1.8 kilonewtons when you got on. 2.7, 2.8 in the middle, which is a little counterintuitive to what we thought. And then about 3.3 was the highest force that Kyle was able to get. You can check out all the data on a chart I made on slackademics.com of all the information we got here. And make sure that you're not like Robert Euler, wearing terrible colors like he is right now. He's wearing gray. Can you believe that? Even though big high lines don't see a lot of force, especially a lot of peak forces, doesn't mean they're safe because if the main line breaks, you're going to fall a long, long ways onto the backup if you have loops like we have here. Therefore, you shouldn't high line big high lines.